Hello, my friends. So pleased you're able to join me this afternoon. There is a lot in my heart today from the Lord. to tell you to open your eyes of understanding to know why Jesus died as sinless sinless being a sinless person Lamb of God and to die to grow up to die for God's world and God is angry, is angry. He had to give his begotten, only begotten son. Because of the curse of sin that Satan had brought upon his creation. Deceiving them to listen to his voice. That's why Jesus had to shed his precious blood to wash us all clean because we all have sinned in our lives. We have all sinned and need to come to repentance before God. Psalm 103, it says, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Forget not his benefits. Why he had to do this? Because we've been all led into sin. And God so loved the world. You know, he cannot look upon sin. Even, even when his son was dying on that cross, he couldn't look upon him because of the sin he'd taken upon him. So I want to draw your attention to why God is angry. And the statistics with it breaks my heart to think of it. You know, you can understand why God is angry. I put it to you. Would you be angry if someone accused you? Of wrongdoing? Would it not anger you if someone touch your child, your children, or harm them, would it not anger you? So think about this, the anger of God. Thousands, thousands of his babies. And let me remind you that he is the creator of the world. He, he has created every one of us. Don't be, be puffed up thinking that you have created the child. Only God, mighty God, is the creator. And he uses, he uses a couple who join together in love. But they don't make the baby. He just uses them <coughs> as a passage for his child come into the world. And you know, he even chooses the sperm he wants, whether it be a boy or a girl. It is almighty God's work. Do not be deceived or filled with, with pride that you produced a baby because it's not you. He is the creator. And those children those children, I mean, I, I, 
I've been being a nurse years ago. I have actually seen an aborted baby in a plastic bowl, in a white bowl. And I've seen the perfection of that baby. Every part of it, little fingernails, little toes. And when I saw it, it broke my heart to see it. And I know and I've heard of people having an abortion and watching the baby die. Can you imagine how God feels? You are all stealing his babies. You know, in, 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 in the book of Jeremiah, he, he talks to Jeremiah and tells him that he knew him when he was in the secret place in his mother's womb. And, and that stays in my mind. And it always, always fills me with joy to think that when I was a little baby in my mother's womb, he loved me and came to talk to me and prepare the life he had for me. Yeah. And it's the same for every one of us. The same for every one of us. He's planned a life for each one of us. And he leads us to walk that, that way with him along the pathway that he's molded for each one of us. Sometimes we, we have struggle getting there, we get distracted. But we keep our eyes on the Lord hold his hand and walk with him to reach the goal that he wants us to reach to do the work he wants us to do but I want you to think about those babies <laughs> exactly I want you to feel how you would feel in the same position A life just snatched from his hands. His babies, remember? I emphasize that. The his babies. You are just the channel for him to bring it into the world. Like I said, every detail he goes into, every detail of it, Mother or father, there's going to be every detail. It, each sperm is specially chosen. Think about all those thousands of babies. Think about it. Think about it. He, Jesus took the curse of sin off us all. He took it off us all, believe it. He offered us everlasting life with him. And he's angry. He's angry because the enemy is trying to steal the souls of his children. Well, listen not to the deception of Satan. Listen not to his voice, but only unto the voice of Almighty God. And as you, you turn to him and be born again, you are a new creation in him immediately and walk along his pathway with him in everlasting life. 
the other pathway, the other pathway is walking with Satan. And that not does not lead to happiness. You know, in Psalm 103, he said, God saved us from destruction. And you know, if we walk in sin, we are self-destroying ourselves. And so, you have to choose. God gives us free will, you know. You have to choose the right pathway. So I plead with you, my friends, all over the world, I plead with you, Lord, to listen to, listen to the Lord and his direction. And be saved. Be saved. We're repenting before him and asking him into your hearts. And when you do that, you will be a new creation. No more in condemnation, but in the will of God. Open your ears, my friend. Take in all that the Lord wants you to hear this afternoon. Go forward. Go forward in obedience unto him. Not rebellion. Obedience. I remember Jesus died because of God's love for us all. And what he gave, he gave his all. And we need to give our all. Because he's worthy of honor and glory and praise. So my friends, ponder on all that the Lord has revealed this afternoon. Ponder seriously. Your life depends upon it. I praise you, almighty God. I praise you, almighty God. Pray, Lord, that people will feel your love, the strength of your love, and take in all that you've revealed to them this afternoon. And go forward, go forward in a new life, walking with, with Jesus, with our lives hidden in him, and guided by you, almighty God. Praise you, Lord. So God bless you all. Take it, put your hand in the hand of the man from Galilee. Put your hand in the hand and walk on with him, praising and glorifying his name in all you do or say. God bless you all. In Jesus' precious Amen.